God knows everything, but did you know that there are six things God does not know? You said, Dave, that doesn't make sense. You said God knows everything, but there are six things God does not know. Hi, I'm Dave Early, and we create these daily discipleship videos. We'd love for you to follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we answer questions like this. We deal with issues like this, and this is an important issue. Did you know that the God who knows everything about everything, he's, it's omniscient is the word a theologian would use, God who knows everything past, present, and future about everybody, about every bit of information, God who knows everything, but there are six things God does not know because they don't really exist. They don't exist, so God can't know something that doesn't exist. You say, I don't quite get what you're talking about. Well, let me explain. God does not know a person that doesn't need saving. You see, every person needs saving. You say, what do you mean? Well, we're all lost. We've all sinned. We've all disobeyed God. We've broken God's law. We, we've taken the wrong road, the road to destruction. We, we've lived for ourselves. And so we need saving. God doesn't know anybody that doesn't need saving. I needed saving. You need saving. Everybody in your family needs saving. Everybody needs saving. God doesn't know a person that doesn't need saving. God also doesn't know a sinner that he doesn't love. God loves sinners. It says in Romans chapter 5 and verse 8, but God demonstrated his love for us and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God loves you. You say, I, I'm not a Christian. God loves you. I haven't been saved. God loves you. I don't go to church. God loves you. There's not a sinner that he doesn't love. But there's, there's no place better than heaven. You see, God created you with one big desire, that you would have a relationship with him that would exist on this earth and then extend through eternity in a place called heaven. And there's no better place than heaven because it's God's home. You get God unlimited, God 24-7 throughout all eternity. God's light, you get light. God's love, you get love. God is life, you get life. God is joy, you get joy, you get peace, you get purpose, you get love. It's all there in heaven. Truth, justice, there's no sickness, no sorrow, no death, no crime. Nobody's going to uh, mistreat you, abuse you, take anything from you. There's plenty to eat. Plenty to have. There's no better place than heaven. God wants you to spend eternity with him in heaven. There's no place worse than hell. You see, earth is kind of an in-between place where we get to make a decision about Jesus. And our decision, do we, want, do we love Jesus? Do we want to spend time with Jesus? Do we want to live for Jesus? Determines where we're going to spend eternity. If we want to be with Jesus, we spend it in heaven because we trust him as our Savior. If we don't want to be with Jesus, if we don't believe in Jesus, if we don't like Jesus, if we don't want to do his thing, we spend eternity not in heaven, but in hell, the place where God is not. God is life. Well, it's not full of life in hell. God is light. It's darkness in hell. God is love. There's no love in hell. There's no joy in hell, no peace. There's no purpose. There's no truth, no justice, no uh, holiness. People are not going to treat each other well. It's a terrible place because God is not present. There's no place worse than hell. There's no place I want you to ever experience like hell. There's no better way to be saved. In fact, there's no way at all to be saved apart from Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Why would he say that? Because he alone is God. He alone is perfect. He alone is the only one that could purchase us for us on the cross, a relationship with God that would deal with our sin and allow us to get to God and spend eternity in heaven. There's no way to be saved apart from Jesus. If you haven't been saved by Jesus, 
You haven't been saved and you have no hope of heaven until you are. Well, the last thing God does not know, God does not know a time to be saved better than there is right now. You have no guarantee about tomorrow. Right now, the next 10 minutes may be the last 10 minutes of your life. What are you waiting for anyway? The best time to get saved was, was 20 years ago. It was 30 years ago. The next best time to get saved is right now. I'm making this video. I'm looking at you today. I'm talking to you today because I deeply desire for you to know God, for you to know Jesus, to you, for you to experience His love, for you to experience His forgiveness, for you to be saved, for you to have a relationship with God, and for you to have a home in heaven. I want to see you in heaven. I want, I want to talk to you in heaven. I want you to talk to God in heaven. I want you to be with God in heaven. There's no better time to be saved than right now. You say, well, okay, I'm ready. I feel God pulling me to himself. This makes sense. I, it all came together for me today. I want to be saved. What do I do? You call upon the name of the Lord to save you. Romans chapter 10. You say, what does that mean? You tell God, I admit that I have sinned. Why don't you do that right now? God, I admit that I have sinned. Tell God, I believe Jesus Christ never sinned. Tell him, I believe Jesus never sinned. I believe Jesus is the only way to heaven. Tell God, I believe Jesus is the only way to heaven. Tell God, I believe Jesus died to pay for my sins. I believe Jesus died to pay for my sins. I believe he rose from the dead. I believe he rose from the dead. Now tell God, I call upon the name of the Lord Jesus to save me. I call upon the name of the Lord Jesus to save me. I commit the rest of my life to living for him. I commit the rest of my life to living for him. Save me right now. Save me right now. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you just said that and you meant it, would you please make a comment right under this video and say these words, I just got saved. Would you say that? I just got saved. I'd love to know about it. I'd love to pray for you keep up with you. I encourage you, watch these videos every day. Make comments every day so I can kind of get to know you. Find a good church that teaches the Bible. Get highly involved there. Live for Jesus. Read your Bible. Pray. It's the only way to live. Thanks for listening today. This is Dave Early, and I'd love to see you tomorrow on these videos.